my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and I make tons of lifestyle and work from home videos. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, you guys can go ahead and subscribe. But today's video is specifically going to be about my work from home setup. I'm so excited to show you guys my new like office space, my work from home setup. It has improved so much since I started working from home last year. And honestly, I just don't know how I did it without these products. This tour is very minimal. I really don't like a lot of clutter on my desk. So I just really don't work well with clutter. So it's very minimal, just the absolute essentials that you need. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right in and share with you guys everything that I use to keep myself productive and just have a really good work from home setup. So first things first, let's start off with this desk. This desk is from FlexiSpot. It is the EC1 electric standing desk and I absolutely love it. I got it in the color white, but it comes in so many different colors. So if white's not your thing, they literally come in a million colors. It's a lot larger than the desk I had before, which was just from Ikea. It's a 48 by 30 inch desk. So it honestly has a lot of room to it. I really, really enjoy it. And obviously the best thing about it is the fact that it's a standing desk. It's also a really great price. So this desk was $244 when I purchased it off Amazon. It came pretty quickly and it honestly wasn't really difficult to put together. It came in two boxes and between my fiance and I, we put it together pretty quickly. And yeah, it was just really easy to set up. The biggest thing I love is that obviously the price, I was not looking to spend too much money on my work from home setup. So just finding a standing desk for around $200 was amazing. And obviously the fact that it is electric, I've seen a lot of cheaper standing desks, but they're the crank handle ones. And I just really don't wanna be there like cranking it, trying to get it to stand up. I just feel like I wouldn't use it as much, but this electric one is so easy to use. And honestly, it gets really tall. So if you're pretty tall, it's perfect for you. I actually am 5'9", but it goes from 28 inches to 47.6 inches. So it's pretty tall. So even if you are a tall guy, I think it will work for you. The next thing we can talk about is my chair. This chair was so affordable. It's from Amazon as well. I think it also does come in other colors, but I just got black because I didn't want to have too much white. There's already a lot of white in this room, but I got the black one. It was only $50 and I think it's a great price. I know you can obviously get some more like ergonomic desk chairs that are obviously better for you but honestly this one is such a good price it's very minimalistic it's very small it doesn't take up a lot of space in the room and i know those like really good quality desk chairs that are really good for your back are extremely expensive and i was not looking to spend that kind of money but i think this is a great little desk chair so obviously the next thing i have is a monitor this was one of the first things i got for my work from home setup i used to work on the laptop in the back over there and it just really wasn't good for my neck the biggest improvement I did for my work from home setup was getting myself a monitor and getting myself a standing desk. That is honestly, out of everything I mentioned in this video, those are the two things I think that will change your work from home setup. But this monitor was gifted to me by my company because they did allow me to take some stuff from the office, which was amazing. I'm not exactly sure what monitor this is, but when I find it, I'll link it below. I know it is the brand Dell and I believe it's around 21 inches. So obviously it's a big difference to work on something like like this versus how small my laptop screen is. It's just really nice to be able to have things side by side so I can work and have my Slack open and talk to my team and then have another tab open for my work. So I really like it. I will also try and link the wallpaper I have as well. It's really cute. It just says August and it's got a little sunset. So it's nice that I can see the dates if I need to know, you know, what day of uh, <laughs> August 5th is or anything like that. But I'll try and link that below as well. I think it's so cute and aesthetic. So I love that. So the next thing we can talk about is obviously my laptop. My laptop, I believe, is the Dell XPS laptop. It's very, very thin. So my laptop really is very thin. It's really nice if you are, you know, traveling and you need to bring this to a hotel or you're working somewhere else for the day, but it's very thin, very light, and I, I think it's really great. This obviously is my work laptop, and I normally, in my personal time, work off a MacBook Pro, which is what I use to edit all my videos and do all my YouTube work, but this is just my work laptop. So that is what they gave me. And then I also have this stand for it, just so that it takes up less room on my desk. It also does block my, I'm not sure what this is called, but where I put all my plugs in. So it blocks that little box, which is really nice and handy. 
um, and it's just a great way for my computer to obviously get some air as well so it's not just sitting on a desk it's actually getting a bit of air standing up like this so I also recently purchased myself a Bluetooth keyboard I really just don't like the clutter of having all of the cords so my work did give me one with a cord but honestly I went out and bought my own this one is just from Logitech I believe it's the K360 and it was only $20 which for a keyboard is amazing and it's pretty thin it's not one of those like really clunky ones so I really enjoy that about this keyboard the keys type really well again they're not those like big clunky ones um, but yeah mostly just love it because it's so thin it was $20 and the fact that it doesn't have a cord so really good steal so then moving on from that, I also have a Bluetooth mouse. This is also from Logitech. It is the M525 and I really like this. It brings a little color. It's red. I think it's really cute. But again, the biggest thing about it is that it is Bluetooth. I, again, I can't stand having too many cables running all over here. So just having a Bluetooth mouse is amazing. Also very affordable. I believe this was $24. So one of the most recent things that I purchased for my desk is actually this desk mat. As you guys can see, I have a really white clean desk and I want to keep it that way. I obviously need a mouse pad as well. So this doubles up as something as protection for my desk, but also as a mouse pad. It moves really, really well, but I love this. This was also from Amazon. Very, very affordable. $15 for this whole thing. Like it's a huge desk pad. Um, it also comes in two colors. So I know it comes in many colors, but what I'm trying to say is it is double sided so if you guys don't like this like white neutral color you could flip it over and have this silver color instead but again they have so many different ones in different colors so but I just figured with all the black and silver accents I have I wanted something a little more neutral and I wanted to just have something like clean I obviously love that it is leather so if I spill anything on it all I need to do is take a damp cloth to it and it cleans it really really well and in case you guys were interested in the sizing of this mat it's 31 one and a half inches by 15.7 inches. And then the only decorative stuff I have on my desk is this little um, fake plant from Ikea. I really can never keep a live plant alive. Um, so yeah, this is a fake plant, a fake plant from Ikea. It was $10, very, very affordable. And then I also have this candle, which I really love. My friend got it for me when she visited. Um, it's from Jackson, Illinois, where is, which is where she's from. But the scent is beachfront, so it's really fitting for where I live in Florida. And it's just a great little scent and a nice small candle just to keep on my desk. So that is everything for my work from home desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I really do and try, I really do try keep it very minimal and clean it's just how I like to work I can't be one of those people who works with a million things on their desk I'm just not one of those people at all I need a clean space to work and I'm sure you guys understand that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will have all of the products linked below and if you guys have any questions on anything about my work from home setup you can leave them in the comments below I reply to every single one of my comments and definitely make sure to comment your favorite work from home essential personally if I had to say out of all the items that I have what are my absolute favorites from working from home I mentioned it before in this video it is this standing desk it was probably the best thing I could have bought for my work from home setup and my monitor I think if you have those two things you will have an amazing work from home setup but yeah let me know what your favorites are below and other than that if you guys enjoyed this video definitely make sure you subscribe I post a ton of work from home vlogs if you guys want to see what I actually do working from home as a digital marketer you can subscribe and watch those videos but other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.